quarter's hours for being late last week. Good excuse. Three deaths in the family since Monday. It's been a bad week. Carla, here's a little time management trick that I use. I set my watch ahead a half an hour. That way, when I get up to the time, I have to find myself and get there early. It's like time on the hour. Got you. Keep talking, because the sound still records. Um, I, I suppose I can't give you an exact time, but it's about half an hour. Measurement of the room, I'm afraid I'm not very good on uh, measurements of the room. It's all I can say that it's a master bedroom, it's the, the double bedroom, so it's quite efficient, or more than efficient, for two people. If you'd like to move along the hallway, I will show you our guest room. Which also doubles as Brian's shack. Maybe it's not too tidy, but there you are. This is the guest room where most of our people stay. Brian's son, Richard, Christopher, Lou, Lisa, Andrew's friends, whoever comes and visits us. And uh, also when uh, there's nobody staying here, Brian uses this as his shack because he's a radio ham and uh, as, as you can see he has all his equipment here this is his chair which he sits on obviously to operate his radio talk to people all over the world actually yeah. he thoroughly enjoys it and finds it very interesting over there you'll see a picture of Chris on the cabinet, that's when Chris graduated from university. Unfortunately, we haven't got one of Richard, but we're hoping to get one when we can. So this is the guest room. If you'd like to come down this way, I will then show you my son Andrew's room. Andrew's room, as you can see, it's a typical young man's bedroom. In actual thing, in fact, I think it's great because it's got everything here that any young man could want. He's got his own video, he's got a beautiful um, hi fi set, you know, his own color television. He's got lots of uh, video tapes, cassette tapes. These books, full length mirror, which I'm uh, sure all young men like to pose in front of. And, uh, well, it's quite nice. That's me, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> Filming myself. <laughs> Filming yourself. <laughs> Trying to get used to this video camera of Linda and uh, Ray's, which they hired. For uh, for the uh, weekend, right? We're going to try and negotiate downstairs without falling over. See this? This is got the dog. Uno doggio. This is our okay. Uno doggio. It's all silly, running around like. Come on down, Sal. That's Sally. Sally the dog. Get on that bed. Get on that bed. This is Sally, our mongrel dog, who so is absolutely cottage. You in Andrew's room? That's Andrew. Go find him. Where's he going? Sit. Where's he going? Sit. You bark at him, Sal. You bark at him, Sal. Sit. Yeah? She likes, actually, she gets on this bed when I'm not here because Andrew likes her to sleep on the end of his bed, which I'm not at all happy about. Who's on that bed then? Get off that bed. Get off. What am I doing then, son? Hey? What's Brian doing? You're wagging your tail. Hey, Brian. Who's a pretty girl, eh? She's a good <coughs> girl. I know. You tell her. Not. You tell her. She's a good girl. Well, Sal, are you going to show us the rest of the house? We'll go down the stairs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like we'll go down me. the stairs. Come on. Off the bed. Mind. Down the stairs. Mind me. I'll drop me. Down the stairs. 
This is very interesting. This is a hall, by the way, because she hasn't told you that bit. And we go into the living room through the door. This is all for posterity. Seeing as it's not our video recorder, we're using it on behalf of Ray. Now, this room, of course, Sheila will go into raptures. This is a beautiful room. Television there in the cabinet. Very, very posh. We'll just zoom in on that, shall we, and just show all the folks. There, real, real worn at that. No rubbish. And the hi fi is there. Which is Brian's pride and joy, one hastens to add. Can you hear her? Can you hear her? Talking away there. <laughs> And our nice uh, we living took room. We took a great deal of time choosing the things in this room. That's right. Uh, which we both like. I think we're gradually, very slowly getting it together. There's a couple of more pieces that we'd like to change, but uh, at the moment I think it's looking, um, well, it's an improvement, a great improvement. That um, lamp over there is a latest addition. We thought I bought Brian for his 49th birthday. Did you hear how everybody <laughs> she emphasised And you may also be wondering why Brian and I are looking so incredibly well and tanned. And it's because we've just come back from two weeks holiday in Sorrento, Italy, which was absolutely marvellous. It feels as though we're still floating on air after this beautiful fortnight, but one has to get used to the rut of life. So there right. you are. Well, we'll if you'd like to come through here, I'll just put my dog out in the garden because she's incredibly badly behaved. This is the kitchen. I always think this is the most important part of uh, any woman's house because it's where she spends most of her time. Um, you put a posh accent on. <laughs> <laughs> one doesn't like to show one's uh, East End accent. Well, this is it. This is the kitchen. It's nothing fancy, but it's practical, serviceable. The bathroom's through there, but we won't go into that because we're hoping to... The bathroom is apparently a sore point, but we're trying to do it. We're it? trying to do it. Yeah. Well, Can't go out into the garden because it's night time and... Yeah. Yeah, I just come back. That's it. In a small room, is. Is it on? Yeah, it's taken. Right, so you're recording? Yeah. Right, I'd just like okay. to introduce you to my bedroom because I have my mum's view of my bedroom, but obviously it's um, a parent's view, which is quite square. And <laughs> this is, uh, I'm going to come into my room, Brian, and um, there's my deodorants in there. I think it's fairly cool, so I think it's really relevant to showing that, all my stuff there. Look, that's all the gear there. And um, as you can see, I'm, I'm quite fussy and hygiene, and you know, the old deodorant see me after shave. I just shut the door there, and um, I'll come in here a minute. And um, all my clothes, which isn't very many actually. And um, these these are my records. Let's move that out of the way. With all my all my LPs and my 12 inches. Now my 12 inches as well, and um, there's some more records down there. It's my beloved high five, I think it's rather close up there because it is a bit special there. So Brian had to zoom in there. He's zooming in as well. Look at that, look at that. 
That's a telly which is not fully relevant. That or that's a telephone which I do like is rather cool. And um, these are my videos and my cassettes. And these are a packet of crisps which I'm about to eat. I'm quite hungry. <laughs> I'm really starving actually. And um, that's a wall. I think it's fairly important because it holds the ceiling up. And um, oh, this is my wood box. Just thought I'd show you that. As well, I'm watching this when I'm 40 years old, obviously, you know. My old wall box I had that was incredibly old fashioned. This is my suit, well tasty. Just take this shirt off, you love this suit. That's my suit, and it really is the business, as you can see. Look at that. Bit of class, there's bit of class, a nice whistle. All right. That's my mum. You don't, oh, you, all you, don't, you don't really ever see my mum because, you know, she, 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 all the time, she. Kind of no, 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 no. I'll we'll, I'll take you for, for a tour around the house. My tour, Andy's tour, right? No, no, no. Yeah, come on, right, come on. Right, sorry, bro, I know it's a bit boring, but it's quite interesting tour. Right. This, as you can see, is a door. <laughs> and you come through here, through the door, it's quite interesting. And um, you can actually notice the splendour oh. of the wallpaper, and you can actually comment on the fantastic artistry and the lovely decorating which I've my, look you can you can see it and um, you're probably wondering what you know what professional person done that and what professional person actually decorated it well you know yeah, you need no yeah. further than me because it was me right I know you're surprised but I don't know six seven was I 17 17 at the time just just a bit of a novice but you can, absolutely fantastic really good I should have been a decorator rather than a bank clerk. Now, I grind this back out and um, we'll go into my mum's bedroom, which is this way. A bit old fashioned, yeah, but you know what they like. <laughs> sort of like <mom. laughs> this is the squares bedroom. <laughs> the double bed, and I want a double bed because my, my bed's pretty crappy actually. And um, I bought that. Christmas present, Christmas 1996. Present. Expensive Christmas present, I didn't appreciate it though. That's a Christmas present. This. My mum again, we don't want to see her. And that's the, um, what's that? Jewelry box. Jewelry box. Um, probably jewelry I bought there. And, um, oh, by the way, I've got to tell you, I went to a barn dance tonight. Oh, God, it was awful. It was so boring. Boring. I'm in a bad mood. Come straight away, come through. <laughs> All right. I can watch this and, like, you know, I think, ooh, that was me, mum. You went there when I was 20. <laughs> You're handsome. Right, we'll just go downstairs, right? These are the stairs here. Which I hope Brian doesn't fall down as he hurt me then. Come through here. Let's turn the lights on. This is Andy's tour, by the way. This is the room which I looked after for two weeks. And right here we get up every day, and I think I've done a quite fantastic job, really. It's got a bit scruffy lately because I haven't been working on it, and it's a bit, a bit, bit let down, a bit, bit, you know, a bit of a disappointment. But obviously, you know, Mum can't do as good as I do. That's <laughs> a box with the television inside it. And they, my mum thinks it's nice, but I'm not thinking. That's just three piece three. It's Brian's sacred hi fi there. And Anthony bought a piece 49 birthday <laughs> presents. <laughs> just, just had to say it's 49, it's getting quite this old. This is money, which is not often in the house which this belongs is, to Andrew. This is Make loads of money! <laughs> which I don't really have a lot, actually, you know. But um, it's payday, it's payday Friday, so I can walk about. Who's been at you? Oh, I've got a little spot. It's got a hair going out of it. Yeah, sorry, don't see my spot. Yeah, I've got loads of money. But next Friday, I won't have boo money. It's a fairly poor person, actually. I'll never have any money. This is a door. Another dog. Put any dog in this house. This is my dog. Just, just, just stay there. Come here, Sally. Come here. Sit. Sit. No. That's a good one. Say hello. Look to the camera. Say. Hello. That's, that's my dog, just fairly, fairly ignorant. This is the kitchen where the food is. <laughs> now this is my fridge. Got some aero and some club and plenty of food. Got nice food though. If you stuff it in the freezer, and I'm absolutely famished, but I can't have nothing, so nothing much in there. This is the toilet, which they're all shamed about, but I'm determined to take her in the toilet, because the toilet's been done up soon, and I think it should be going in before it gets done up. Come to the toilet, I'll just turn the light on. 
It's the bathroom. It's where I bath every morning, the shower, and my mum goes, Oh, you ain't no shower yet. Yeah? Every <laughs> single morning, right? There are the taps. Um, this is the sink. I brush my teeth. And as you can see, it's um, fairly dirty. We won't mention that. And uh, these are some towels. Coming to the toilet, this is this is horrible toilet. You see? The this is why I sit on the pan every day like that. <laughs> when I go to the toilet. And um, you can see it's fairly horrid. So we won't, won't go into that for a long time. And um, what's left? That's it. What's, nothing, nothing else left? Um, you want to see yourself then? Sorry? You want to see yourself? Yeah, let's see yourself. You underwear? There's a red light on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't zoom in. Uh, top. There's a, two buttons there. Zoom. No, you don't you, you your fingers on it. That, there. Just try it. That's one. Or backwards or forward. You want to zoom in or... You know. oh, one? How far is it? One is it? No, there's only, only one look. Just have a look. Just stop it a minute. You record it? The red light. Yeah, I want to focus very well, though. It'll focus automatically. Oh, will it? Right, go on then, Brian. What do you want? Well, Andrew's had his go. We talked to the camera, uh, haven't they? Sheila's <laughs> had a go. I think it's about time I know. We're doing all this filming tonight for Ray and Linda. So, uh, I thought I'll have a go. Well, this is the house I moved in three years ago. Well, what a tip when Shut I came up, here. Shut up. I mean, you really... I mean, I didn't know what to do, and after a fortnight, I thought I'd go back to my little flat in Leeds. <laughs> I mean, I got Andrew Bloody to lovers. put up with, her to put up with, the dog, all talk funny down here. I thought, God, this is no good. But anyway, after three years, I changed me. I have changed me. <laughs> no, I have. It's a nice, it's it's a nice, nice home. It's a nice home, and I enjoy it very much. And we've had a good night tonight, and I've been filming all night for Linda and Ray, and my shoulder's aching, I'm tired, the dog's barking, Andrew's filming me, and I think that's enough of me. And it's the uh, 25th of June, 1988. And it's the 25th of June, 1988. That's more, Brian. Have a little tour around the house and do what you want to do. Right. right, hit it. Hit the stop button. Just press it again. Right. Just, press, just press the off button. Does it stop now, the red light out? I'm trying to find it. from Tony Garnett of Cathy Come Home and Kez fame. His first American venture, Handgun, is a tale of vigilante rough justice, highlighting the dangers of a gun culture where firearms are all too readily available. Now on BBC Two, Space, The Final Frontier. Horizon follows where Voyager 2 boldly goes. After a 12-year interstellar mission, some tantalizing glimpses of an encounter with Neptune. <laughs>